Hello all and welcome to my review of the tool Screencast-O-Matic. I am actually using the tool right now to perform this demonstration. And what I wanted to show you were the issues that I had initially starting up. Um, I'm specifically a Mac user. Um, I presume the process is a little easier for Windows users. Um, so as you can see at the top left hand corner uh, I'm using Google Chrome which is my uh, default browser or my browser of choice um, you can go to the screencastomatic.com website and it brings you to this home page and there's two areas where you can click on to start recording as you can see on the screen uh, click on any one of those and immediately you see that it indicates that I am missing a plug a plugin specifically the Java plugin as you can see from the, the bar um, at the top of the screen um, so then there is a link to uh, sort of help you through this process enable applets on your Mac and it brings me to this screen now the first thing I had to do was um, check my version of Mac, Mac OS X which is version 10.9 so which led me to first uh, go to that area that said read this article um, if you have 10.7 and 10.8 um, I assumed it was the same as if I had 10.9 um, and <clears throat> it basically informs you that with these newer versions of the Mac OS X Apple has removed the Java plugin and thus you need to download a Java, a Java plugin from java.com so if you click on this link here that'll bring you to the java.com website you can download the plugin I'm not going to go through that process as I have already done that and it's pretty straightforward um, but then as it says underneath the link after you download the plugin you'll have to use Safari or Firefox as your primary browser for Screencast-O-Matic um, because the new plugin the new Java plugin is not supported by Chrome for Mac so once I did that, I went back to this initial page uh, because once you have the software downloaded, you have to make sure that it's enabled. Now, this also wasn't exactly how I did it to the T, or at least I followed this process and um, it didn't turn out to be the process that I needed to go through. Uh, so I'll go, I'll go through it real quickly with you. Um, it said to go to the spotlight or the magnifying glass at the top right hand corner of my screen brings up spotlight and you should type in Java preferences first you have to spell it right um, and you should see um, Java preferences somewhere up there um, I did not see that as you can see um, so actually what I did was I went to the Apple symbol, I went to System Preferences, and you can see my Java right here. I clicked on that. It brought up this screen, telling you that Java, the control panel, will open up, and automatically it brings you to this screen. Now if I already had Java, um, I didn't need to download it but make sure that it's updated and you can do that by going through the update tab go back to general and essentially once it's downloaded installed or updated you just have to make sure that it's enabled and you can see that it's enabled here if it wasn't enabled it says see the security tab up here security and you would just click or unclick this button and then apply um, I was already enabled so all right, so once that's done, again, you have to use Safari or Firefox. So I'll pull up my Safari. Here it is, Safari, left-hand corner. And I'm at the screencastomatic.com website. And again, I have the two areas to start recording. I press 1. And basically, this is what I got. Um, so I went through all the steps, have the new Java plugin, made sure it was enabled, and I still had an issue. Um, 
So over here on the right, it says screen recorder not loading, download and install our app instead. And essentially that's what I did. Um, so I downloaded, I clicked here, it brought me to this website and then um, straight to the download. Uh, and then over here, this picture to the left is just saying that it's recommending that once you download it to transfer it to your applications folder. Um, there's also a tutorial um, here to show how to um, actually download if uh, you want more details on that. Um, I put mine personally in the applications as it had suggested. And let's see here, you can see it right here, screencast o -matic. Okay. Um, so that's it. Those are the issues that I had. Um, once I downloaded the app, it was fairly straightforward. Um, you basically go to whatever folder you have it loaded on, which is mine is applications. You go there, you click on it, and it basically loads instantaneously and makes life a lot easier. Um, so that's why I recommend just skipping all the Java plugin business and just downloading the application um, from the get-go. Uh, it'll make your life a lot easier. Um, that's it. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for checking out my blog. Uh, these links, I have several links in my blog um, to um, this tutorial here, uh, to this page here, um, how to enable the Java, and Java plugin, also, um, what to do um, when you have a Mac, Mac OS X that's 10.7 or greater. All right, there's several other um, sample videos and other things in my blog. So thanks for checking it out.